Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. I am going to be, this is actually a vlog video. So I'm gonna be piecing together clips of the last week and a half and um, sharing some of my life with you. Those of you that have been following me for a long time, you know that I do like lifestyle videos and I do like vlogging. It's just that oftentimes I don't like to vlog if there's nothing to say. So uh, I'm, I'm going through sort of like hmm, changes maybe. I'm not sure, but I, I want to stay true to my passion. And of course it's skincare and makeup in that old anti-aging thing, but it's also lifestyle. So I have a couple of things coming up and a couple of things I wanna to talk to you about. And at the very end, a little bit of an update. So I hope you stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. And if you have any suggestions for what would you guys like to see on my channel, I would love it. And I would also love it if you subscribed, if you haven't already. And I would love it if you shared the video as well. Thank you so much. So Jay and I are getting ready to go to Portland, Maine. We're going to meet up with um, with some friends and I'm going to share some of the photos and some of the things that we do in Portland with you here. But this is going to be kind of a, a wacky week for me. I have uh, a couple of doctor's appointments. I've got a mammogram. I've got a bone density. I just have, um, you know, blood work. I just have a bunch of different things that, I, that I'm doing. And um, so I kind of thought I would do a little vlog style. I'm trying to also get used to my shorter hairdo and trying not to do a whole lot with it, you know, just sort of kind of let it go natural. <laughs> so what can I say? Anyway, so this is a vlog. If you're curious as to what's been going on, stay tuned. before my mother's birthday. She's going to be 95. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel. Anyways, she happy doesn't... Happy birthday, Oma. Happy birthday, Oma. <laughs> she does not like to celebrate her birthday unless it is her actual birthday. Oh, I know. So it's kind of a bummer that we're doing this early, but, you know, tomorrow's Monday. There's going to be a storm. I have to work anyways, and you have to teach. So yeah, people it's, have things they got to do during the week, you know, unless you're fully retired. So anyways, we're going to pick her up and we're going to meet uh, some of the family members over in uh, the Olive Garden in Manchester next to the mall because she really likes the Olive Garden. And she hasn't been feeling good, so she hasn't been out of the house for a while. So. Yeah, quite a while. So I'm going to share a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and a little bit of what we did yesterday too because we went to Portland. So I'm going to include some of the some of the clips on that trip too so so there's the birthday girl in the back seat can you believe you're going to be 95 tomorrow mom no 95 it doesn't seem that way do you feel like you're 20 uh, no <laughs> a little older <laughs> a little older than 20 yeah 29 well for the kid good boots dark by now 45 45 that's still young too no, I wouldn't want to be 45. No? No. I would take uh, 60. 60? Yeah. Wow. 60s were good years for you? 75, 60, uh -huh. 65. Yeah, in her 60s, my mother was still partying hardy. Yes, She dancing. was going out to parties and dancing and... Oh, my God. Oh, your God is right. We don't even do that, and we're 69 and 68. We'd be 70. I don't know. I keep it my, on Marty's wrapping. Now I feel like a goofer. <laughs> I, I get, and I, I got in it, and I didn't care who sees it. <laughs> it's because you were having fun. Yeah. You were having a blast. Yeah, I was not that I was drunk or so. I just felt that that way. <laughs> I, I know. Think the club we did that. <laughs> so, how old is Heidi going to be? Is she 61? She said, right? Uh, 
You know, she was 60 now in March. Yeah, she will be 61 this and week. She's going to be 61, of course. Yeah, and Paige is going to be 13. So there's you tomorrow, wow. Paige on the 15th, and Heidi on the 16th. Yeah. All this week, we have all our March baby yes, birthdays. All the birthdays. <laughs> all the birthdays. And we're going to the Olive Garden. What are you going to order, do you know? Well, I usually take that chicken scampi. Ah, uh -huh. then you can bring the the, the rest probably, leftovers home I, yeah because i'm not gonna eat it all yeah mm. chicken scampies there that's a good dish for leftovers you know uh, yeah that's always good you know yeah you can have the shrimp scampi that's only a dollar more yeah the chicken scampi is pretty good yeah that's it's probably what we'll have. that's probably what we'll we'll end up having something like mm. that cool all righty so we'll film more when we get there Oma, right? Cheers to Oma. That's what we just did. We did. We did. Cheers. 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 So, oh my gosh, it's like we had 18 inches of snow, 18 inches. Uh, I had to do something about my creepy skin on my neck and my chest. I was like looking at the vlog videos that I did and it's like all wrinkles. So I ordered something and... Um, <clears throat> It wasn't all that expensive, but um, I'll share it when I get it. It should be here. Mm, I don't know if it'll be here before I publish this, but I did order it and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, because I was like looking at the wrinkles it, when you're sitting and you're all scrunched up, it, of course it looks worse um, than it probably really is. But I don't know, I thought it was pretty bad. So poor Jay's out trying to snow blow and it's crazy. I'll show you what it looks like. 18 inches. It's going to take him forever. Look at him way down there. I'm going to try to zoom in. And I think the snowblower, it's not a super strong snowblower. But who would have thought we would have had this amount of snow? Many, many people in New Hampshire are without power. When you take a look at the trees up there, you can, you can see they're coated. Some of them, all my bushes have bent, but many people are without power. So I guess we're really lucky that we so far have not lost power. Heavy, wet snow. And thankfully I'm working from home today. Yeah, the poor guy. So he's out there, it's probably gonna, I told him to just do little tiny chunks, not to do a whole lot, but you know how men are. Um, I did not put any concealer on my scar today. Anyways, it, I did get a new, I, I did do a little Ulta haul, so I'm going to share that with you. But I also got from Huda Beauty, um, from Skeepers, or Skippers, or whatever, um, a eyeliner. And I like the softer eyeliner, so this is a creamy, cool eyeliner, um, for our flake proof, I should say. So... I'm looking forward to trying it. It's a really nice shade of brown. And I think that, you know, cause like I tend to go to purple or black, but this is a nice shade of brown. So um, I hope it looks good. So this is sort of my, my little haul, nothing much, but I did want to, because we are going to Vegas. So I did want to get a stock up on some sunblock and we're actually doing a little side trip after Vegas for a few days to Hawaii. Oh my God, what, I can't believe we did it, but we are. So, you know, I wanted to uh, make sure I had plenty of sunblock. Um, I also wanted to get a travel size of, of my, the matte finishing spray. And I got this from Elf. This is just, it seems like a really pretty blush. I've been wearing it. I really like it. Um, yeah, I 
you know, kind of looks brownish here, but it's really nice. And then I needed some more brush cleaner. This, I haven't been able to find these in a long time, the purple one. I've tried a few of the other Essence in different colors and I don't like them. My favorite mascara is the Petite and Pretty, but I like to have two mascaras. So I saw these, I grabbed both of them. Um, you know, I like to layer. So, plus the Petite and Pretty as my favorite. And sometimes I just do a base with this and then put the petite and pretty on top. So I really, so I got that. And then again, like I said, I got this scent from, from Huda Beauty via the Octoly, via Skeppers Network and it's complimentary in exchange for a review. And I've been, ha I've had it on my hand and I have rubbed it and rubbed it. It hasn't smudged really. Um, it's a it's a brown that's a, a lighter brown. I really like it so far. We'll see. Anyways, that was my sort of mini little <laughs> alcohol. And I got um, I got this stuff. Now you can get it at TJ Maxx. Um, you know anywhere. Anyways, I had heard that um, a lot of people were really liking this for the skin and. I just wanted to look for a more affordable alternative than some of the more expensive stuff that I've been using for my neck. And so um, I've been using it, it came in a couple of days ago, I've been using it for the last two days. Of course, I can't tell anything yet, obviously, but this is what I said I had ordered that I was using. And also I have ordered, um, and this I heard, from uh, Penn Smith Skincare from the Facebook group. A lot of people in the comments were talking about this and she apparently reviewed it as well. A Revive Eye Serum. This is Beauty from Joshin. Joshin, it's made in Korea. So it's Korean Beauty Care. And I've used it twice so far on my eyes and I'm really looking forward to, um, you know, see if it helps. Oh my gosh, thank you all so much for watching. I know at times it was probably a, a little, you know, disjointed or whatever, but I pieced together all these clips of everything that we did. And when I do vlog style videos, they, I'm, they're not, I'm not usually staged. I'm not usually on a tripod. It's probably shaky like it is right now. I may not have the best makeup on or the, you know, best wigs on because it's more lifestyle. It's just sharing what's going on in my life. So, um, before I give you or ask a couple of questions of you guys, I don't know how many of you have seen the promotion that City Beauty has going on with their new lip oil. They just launched it. I have a 15, I think it's a 15% off. I'll put it in the description below. But I've only used it twice and I put it on at night and it's supposed to help plump up your lips. It's the last thing you do at night for your lips. And it's supposed to help a little bit with the wrinkles and smoker's lines and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm like, mm. I am going, getting ready. We're leaving for convention. And we're going to Vegas on convention. And then Jay and I are taking a side trip. So by the time we get back, I will probably have a better feel for that. I plan on bringing it and using it every night while I'm gone. And I'll do a video update when I get back. But if you guys are curious, there's a special going on with it for the launch. So I'll have all that below. The other thing is that I'm going to be selling a bunch of wigs. So any of you that will follow me for wigs, reach out to me, let me know, because I have like so many wigs. I'm going to probably post them on Facebook and um, they're going to be, most of them are hardly, I mean, worn just once for a review, they'll be very reasonable price. So I'm going to be doing that. So if you're curious, if you're one of my uh, viewers who love wigs, just reach out to me, let me know. I also um, am probably gonna try to upload on a more consistent basis, maybe every Sunday to start, or probably at 10 o'clock. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I've been all over the place with uploads, but I, I'm i gonna try to be very, very consistent. That said, because I'm gonna be gone for, well, actually two weekends, technically, um, I'm going to pre-record the videos for the next two Sundays. And then when I come back, I'll give you probably the updates. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably get more updates on my trip and stuff like that. I'll be doing that. I'm also going to be doing on my real estate channel. I may be doing a challenge video every day in April. So that'll be real estate content. And that's a separate uh, YouTube channel and a separate Instagram as well. So I may be doing that. I've got a bunch of stuff cooking. 
I really want to focus in on my passions of what I really like. You know, yes, anti-aging, makeup, skincare, living your best life. You know, living your best life. I'm going to be 70. How scary can that be? You know, to me, it's scary. I can't believe it. My mother just turned 95. But I'm going to be 70. And that totally, totally blows my mind. I can't believe it. So living my best life. And so I'm going to focus more on my lifestyle, on my thoughts and stuff like that. If you guys have any suggestions, I'd love to hear any suggestions you have for the channel. I am trying to grow the channel. As, as you know, I seem to be stagnant and it's probably because of everything that's been going on in my life. So I don't know, but, um, I'm excited about what the future is holding. I've had a couple of little things come up, a couple of little issues. I'd like you to keep me in your prayers. Um, I had a mammogram last week. They called and they said they need to redo it. You know, I don't like that idea because I've had a lumpectomy in the past. So it kind of like immediately frightens me, but I'm sure it'll be okay. I'm gonna do that right before I leave for Vegas. And I'll obviously try to update um, as I know anything. Uh, I, I believe in being transparent. I will also tell you at the tail end of this video, it is, um, when was it? I had my Botox on March 1st, and my husband still hasn't noticed. <laughs> I'm whispering because he's home, so I don't want him to hear it. I'm also filming my vlog on my iPhone, so if the footage is a little bit wacky, it's because it's on my iPhone. I am planning on, um, I'm ordering some new batteries for my camera camera, and I'm planning on using my camera for most of my vlogs going forward um, because I just like the footage better. So, but this is on my iPhone, so I'm sorry about that. But anyways, keep being your thoughts, you know, for positive results this week. And um, yeah, so let me know. What direction, what would you like to see on my channel? I mean, I know you guys are tossed. Some of you hate the wig review. Some of you hate the makeup. Some of you hate the lifestyle. But what would you like? Let me know. And, um, and I just want to say I appreciate every single one of you. I do. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you all so much. And again, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I truly appreciate that. And I would love it if you like the video, if you left me a comment. Um, and if you're a wig person, let me know if you're interested in some of my wigs. And yeah, we'll just we'll go from there. So thank you all, all for all your support.